Hi, Nicola. I just wanted to give you a quick um, video analysis of your throw and uh, cover a couple of little pieces to it. Uh, one in particular, I think you move really well down the runway. I think you, it looks like you've got a pretty athletic run. Uh, you carry a fair amount of speed, and it looks like you're driving uh, force in the direction of the throw. There's a couple of pieces that I think are limiting your distances, and they happen at the very end of your throw. Okay, so as I move through here, um, you can see a couple of frames. As you come down from that right foot uh, after your crossover, you can see the huge stride. Now, javelin should be released at the peak of acceleration, and your feet have a lot to do with that. Um, when you take a big stride like that, you're no longer accelerating, and you want to get from the right foot to the left foot uh, quicker than you did in the previous stride. Now, the other piece is, and it's hard to see here, but your toe is pointed out to the side out here. And what that tells me, when you reach this far and your foot is sideways, um, your hip is going to be behind you, and it's not going to be contributing to your uh, to the acceleration into your block leg. So I can see just from this angle that you're not using your hip to drive into this throw, that you're rather pushing off from the back foot, sliding into that block, and then once you hit the block, you can see there's a little bit of that hip turn. Um, once you hit the block. So your hip is a reaction to uh, your your block leg here. Now another piece is the length of pull and I don't know if you're familiar with that term but um, the distance from where you're holding the javelin here to the release point that distance uh, is referred to the length of pull. You want to be accelerating the javelin throughout that that distance. Okay now because your elbow is bent here, in fact I can show you another frame, so you can see that your elbow is bent, which means that because it's not straight out, you're, you're reducing the length of pull in your throw. So uh, that means that you're, you don't have as much opportunity to accelerate because it's a shorter distance. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, the other thing is I don't know if you have elbow problems, but this to me looks like a throw that would put a lot of pressure on your elbow. So if I go a couple more frames here, you can see shoulders are level and the elbow is dipping slightly below the shoulder and you throw from the outside. I think this other view gives you a better... Yeah, so you can see between these two frames, you can see that you're throwing on the outside Normally, uh, you want to release the javelin uh, high over the shoulder between your hip and your head. And you can see here that the javelin is outside of your hip uh, by a pretty good distance. Okay, And uh, you're throwing off the grass, so I'm not sure how much of your block is actually contributing to your throw. But um, uh, one of the things I do really like about your throw here is that you are um, you're driving forward. So once you hit your block, you are driving your chest forward into the throw. So, which, to be honest, can contribute a lot more power um, to finish the throw. Some folks will open up too early with their shoulders and um, their pull ends up becoming a push and it doesn't produce as much force or acceleration uh, at the end of the throw. So it, to me it looks like as you go back from these frames that you're hitting your block and then driving your chest forward into the throw so I, I bet you're getting a pretty decent amount of acceleration. But, like I said, your elbow is in a, a dangerous spot for injury, and I think that you're missing out on some hip drive into your throw because of this long stride from the right foot to the left foot. So, anyway, uh, hopefully those little pieces make sense to you. Uh, I don't want to dissect your throw too much, uh, but just touch on, on some of the larger areas that seem you know more obvious to me. But keep up the great work. Uh, do some drills to get your knee uh, down and landing on the, the toe or the ball of your foot here with the knee down. Hopefully you can get the hip to lead, it, lead you into the block. And that should accelerate the last part um, 
of your lower half and then I think you finish the throw pretty well so maybe just getting the elbow up into a safer position so okay well hopefully this uh, makes sense to you and uh, best of luck throw far